7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Slauson explains where they're all coming from and the adverse effects they're having. In the tank, goldfish seem pretty harmless as a pet, but once people get them home, don't really understand what they're getting into. It's because these tiny little fish can grow to this. A good estimate for how big they'll be is anywhere from about one foot to probably about two feet. So when their owners aren't prepared, Kenrick Whalick at Pet Supplies Plus sees how people handle the fish. Some people will dump it into the lake itself because they want the best for the fish, but they don't want to take care of it. Some people just flush it down the drains. It's something that's become a problem in the north shore of Lake Erie and the west end of Lake Ontario. The dumped goldfish are flourishing. There always is a chance that um, they, they could end up disrupting ecosystem function or you know, having some kind of an impact. According to the Canadian Department of Fisheries and Oceans, an estimated 40 to 50 million goldfish have invaded Lake Ontario. The fear is this could severely disrupt the ecosystem. It doesn't belong there um, and all kinds of side effects may occur that you would you can't even fathom. Goldfish can breed in smaller spaces and fairly rapidly, which makes for more competition and less resources for native fish, killing off some of the species. All these kinds of things can be disrupted potentially by an, an incoming species, uh, so it really does depend. Best advice? Try and donate the unwanted fish, because the last thing the ecosystem needs is more goldfish. Please don't put your fish, slush them down a toilet if you can't take care of them. In Buffalo, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News.